quick joke. <laughs> Do you need to uh, answer that question? Any other head coach? Hey, this is what happens. What happened? Yeah. He's like, uh, uh well, I mean, well, uh, I mean he, was he, was... <laughs> he was biting that tongue. He was biting that tongue pretty hard. He was hard. trying to say what he wanted to. He I love Salah. Say. <laughs> he was getting through that is without yeah. causing any more trouble. Well said. Is what, it, is what he was trying to do. But Dave, is it a big deal or no deal that Rodgers is missing minicamp today? All right, I know who I'm sitting next to. Yeah. So I, it, it's not a big deal in the sense that Aaron Rodgers like needs the practice. Oof, time, thank right? you, Dave. Oof, it's not a he's, big deal. He's so, a, no uh, butts after it. Come, no, there is a butt after it, and that is it's all of what we just saw right there, James. Like, does it look pretty obvious to you that Robert Sala? does not appreciate having to answer this question and does not appreciate that this is now a storyline in the biggest media market in America. It, we, are, we are two weeks removed from Aaron Rodgers going to, which to his credit, he's been at OTAs, he's been in, in the facility, mm -hmm. two weeks removed from Aaron Rodgers saying, if I don't perform the way I think I'm capable of, we're probably all out of here. And this is a tough market to play in and that goes with the territory and not everybody's built for it. And then two weeks later, we've got this storyline because <laughs> he's oh, not excused dude. from the mandatory minicamp. It's it's the classic meme of like, we're all looking for the guy that's doing this here. Like, we're all looking for the guy responsible for this. Aaron <laughs> Rodgers is creating the distractions that he said he wanted out of the building. And he's been doing it, honestly, all year. It's, it's crazy. Does it matter that Aaron Rodgers isn't getting two days worth of reps? Of course it doesn't. Does it matter that the face of the franchise and one of the most polarizing players in the NFL is, is not excused for, being, for not being at the mandatory part of the offseason program? Absolutely, because we're doing segments about it. And the tabloids in New York are going to have it on the back page of all of their editions. And it's going to be a thing all through the summer. And it would be so easy. I'm just going to assume, like, if it was a, a really serious thing that he needed to be at, he would be excused, right? So it's not something the Jets thought necessary for him to be at. How hard is it for the face of the franchise just to go to two days of work and keep this from being an issue, James? <laughs> I'm, I'm, well, am I, am I crazy? You gotta, you gotta have, have work-life yes. balance, Dave. We're talking, we're talking about minicamp. Talking about practice? That's what, that, that, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> one thing I will say, number one, I'm going to say this is not a big deal at all. One thing I will say about Aaron Rodgers, since he became a New York Jet, he has done every single thing they have asked him to do in the offseason. He's been at everything. We are talking about minicamp. You don't even take no reps in minicamp. I remember being a part of a minicamp, and yes, everybody here is mandatory minicamp. When you go through these OTAs, when minicamp even comes around, the, the rookies is taking all of them reps. It doesn't even matter about the veterans even being there. We was out there at mandatory minicamp in sneakers trying to coach the young pups up because we went through OTA, the whole install is in, you got your little chemistry, what you needed with the wide receivers, whatever it may be. Mandatory minicamp, yes, I'm here, but I'm walking out to practice in sweats and my sneakers, and I'm not hurt. Right. So this means absolutely nothing. Sala said he communicated with me, passionate about something that he had to go to. We're talking about minicamp. I know mandatory on there, and this is minicamp. You're not taking any reps. Aaron Rodgers has done everything he needed to do off-season-wise since he's <clears throat> became a New York Jet. This is absolutely nothing, Dave. What are we talking about here? That's the what I'm mini talking camp? about. Mini what are we camp? talking about, right? Uh, sometimes on these on these TVs, right, and and. and in the media part, we, we, we get away from, like, the real game. And we start getting, like, the, the numbers, and we get, like, real nerdy about everything. Oh, he missed some time with the first team. Is he not starting? Like, what? <laughs> this is, listen, this is nothing, right? If this was camp, I would say, yo, this is a big deal. Yo, this is camp, it's a big deal. But this is not. This is mini camp. I mean, James has talked about it. We ain't even playing that hard. It's, it's really just to hang out with the guys, right? Yeah. Joke about what we have to do after practice. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, right? And I, I do think the, the learning curve for new players, um, rookies, they can learn the playbook, ask the questions and all that were not the issue. You know, if you ask a question like that in the regular season, it's like, oh, you don't know that? Well, now it's minicamp, this is where you ask. This is where you mess up at and this is where you correct it. So this is nothing to me. I really, I'm really mad that um, <clears throat> we made this a whole thing. Well, listen, I, why is it gotta be we? People are, he got <laughs> asked the question. So really blame the New York Jets media if, if, if we blame it. They being nerdy on it. 
Okay, well, they, they asked the question. He says nerdy when I come had, on the show, I swear. The, <laughs> no, no, you're not nerdy. I don't question. think it's a big deal at all, and I think I'm, I think I'm very frank about Rodgers and the Jets a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I would not point to this as being a reason why they're not going to be successful this year. He's, he's always yeah. at everything. He's healthy. He's in year, like, 400 in the NFL, yeah. and, and this is not his first year there. Like, he's even, playing even golf. if this had been his first year, then maybe yeah. I could get with like, hmm, like I don't really want this now. But he, this isn't even his first year though, so I don't but, think this is a big. But deal. not only that, I'm, a, I'm. It's really gonna be eye opening how serious this mandatory mini camp is after the first day. Because it's gonna be a lot of coaches saying, "Go home." Le okay, <laughs> let me. Don't let me, even worry about the next two days on the last day of mandatory this, mini camp. Did you have to do that too? Yeah, yeah. we just filled it. It's anybody, not serious. Anybody yes. who's covered team bonding activity. Anybody who's covered a mini camp knows that it's not that serious. I'm not. I'm not worried about the reps. So what you worried about? Dave? Well, first of all, I mean, first of all. Y'all can say what you want, and look, y'all y'all made so much more money playing than I'll ever make, but it's $100,000 to miss this. First, I mean, that that ain't nothing, at least not to me. Yeah, he gave him, like, $30 million back. That's $1.50 to $2. He gave, okay. well, he gave him millions All back. All right. On top of that, it, it goes back to what I said. I, I do not care about the reps. I do not care about what they're doing at practice, but you make your head coach get up there and start this firestorm. Like I said, watch Robert Sala's body language and the way that he answered that question and tell me he's thrilled and totally okay with Aaron Rodgers not being there. And again, like, is it fair? No, but Rodgers said it himself a couple weeks ago. This is New York City. This yeah. is a market where every little thing is an issue because 15 yeah. million people live there. There's six oh, pro sports about teams. You. There's Because you blew they, 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 We're on the same show last time I checked. He's talking about everybody that does this, and it, stuff like this gets magnified. If you are Aaron Rodgers, Going to two days of BS work yeah. saves you a little yeah, but, bit of a like, headache? Well, first of all, Robert Sala gets paid a handsome salary to talk to media, amongst other things. PPI. But more importantly, this, these could be those moments where, even though we are hysterical at a media, in, in the media, maybe we just, like, default to, you know, the former players saying that this is not a big yeah, deal. Is... I get it, it's the Jets and it's Aaron Rodgers and they will lose their jobs if they're not good this year, but I don't think that this, him being there or Robert Sala have to answer questions is gonna have anything to do with whether they keep their jobs or But not only that, since he's been there these two years, he ain't missed nothing yeah. off-season-wise. My that man is has really been good at point. everything. That is a very good point. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to whatever event I may be going to, we talking about mandatory minicamp where when mandatory minicamp does come around, we build team bonding activities. We ain't even really on the practice think, field. I think what, if I was to be picky, which I genuinely do not care about this <clears throat> at all, I do not think this is a big deal at all. Um, if I was to be picky, I don't know if the question was asked specifically, was it an excuse or inexcuse? I don't know if that's how the reporter asked it, because I don't have the question. But if they didn't ask if it was excused well, or not, they clarify, like he he told them he told them Aaron and Hassan Reddick were not there, and they said this is these are inexcuses. Hassan Reddick's oh, looking okay. for a new contract, yeah. and Robert Sala said we, we I had a good conversation with Aaron. I knew he wasn't going to be here, but it's not excused. Like yeah. he said that to the New York media, so I don't know why he's gone. But it wasn't something the de the Jets deemed worthy of saying. Oh yeah, don't worry about it, dude. So I, like I said, I'll say it one more time for the former players. Do I think this is going to affect the way the Jets play football or, or the X's and O's of it all? Absolutely not. But I think the Jets have the most boom or bust expectations of any team in the league, right? With Aaron Rodgers being there, with having to see so little, you know, we got to see so little of this experiment last year. Mm -hmm. They could be a Super Bowl contender. They could be a total disaster, depending on how all this goes. So I would just like to quick, see quick. a unified front quick. in the mandatory two days where everybody needs to be there. Let's just all quick question for you. put a happy face on it and not turn this into so a national story. If the Jets go to the Super Bowl and win it, are the Jets have a terrible year? You gonna say it's because of minicamp? No, but okay. it's, it's it's just a it's a small. <laughs> That's it, it's just a little. It's just it a don't little matter. Thing. The little things add uh, up, and the, the fewer headaches you can day. have, the better. Coming up, Kaylin Clark did not make the Olympic team. Was it a miss? Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.